Good morning and welcome to this very early video this morning where we're talking about the zero heroes. We are talking about the zero point food list on Weight Watchers. Now, obviously I spoke uh, when I was talking about Weight Watchers about it changing to more holistic and things like this. So many of my personal training friends and people who've been on Weight Watchers previously have said to me, you know, how have they changed it? Now this little list here is the magic, okay? So basically, uh, slimming clubs in the past have always had some, you know, foods that you can have unrestricted um, and you can just go wild on them. And in the past, they have been things like sugar-free jelly um, and other low-calorie things that maybe are not so good for our health. Good morning, uh, Kay. The reason we're doing the video so early, I'm on a first aid course today, so I'm doing a quick video before I go off to Stoke for the first aid course. Uh, yes, Pam, this is early. Good morning, Tracy. So this is the magic, guys. This is the zero points food list. Now, this list, this is what you obviously get with Weight Watchers, but I've also put a link in this video as well, so you can click on that link and you see exactly what is in the zero point foods. Basically, you can have these foods unrestricted um, and you don't need to count them or weigh them or whatever you do. Okay, so let me just tell you, and the shocking thing is, they're healthy guys. This is the this is what makes the plan holistic. These are now healthy foods. So forget all the sugar-free jelly and all that stuff that they used to promote. Now it's about eggs, fat-free yogurt, all unsmoked fish and shellfish, including tins of tuna. Um, and there's a massive long list of all the fish there. Um, even tinned caviar, should you wish a little bit of caviar. Uh, poultry, so chicken breast or turkey breast. Uh, wafer fin is fine, so again if you think about little snacks that's fine. Fruit and vegetables, you're completely unlimited guys on your fruit and vegetables. Now there are calories in fruit, a lot of calories in some fruit, so you do need to be careful. But generally it's all fine. Um, and then also things like beans, lentils, chickpeas are all on the list. And also a few vegetarians and vegans out there. Uh, we also have tofu, corn and uh, smoked tofu. Now there are some things that are not on the list from the fruit and vegetables. Uh, morning Maureen, go study with Annie. Yes, I will go study with Annie on my... Uh, um, first aid course but there are some things that do contain points guys and these are avocados uh, yucca which is that uh, potato alternative mushy peas olives parsnips potatoes sweet potatoes and yams so that's just a little list of some of the uh, things that do have points that are fruit and vegetables but as I said, this is the real game changer, guys. So it's turned Weight Watchers from a plan where, yes, people get short-term weight losses for having things like point for, for sugar-free jelly, but sadly, for their health and their long-term weight loss, it's not good. But something like this, which is all full of vitamins, minerals, and good things for your body, this is the game changer. So I'll put the link here on the live video. If you you want to click it you will get a full list of all the foods thank you guys for joining me today my name has been Jodie Bunting with my new look Harry Potter style glasses <laughs> and that's it for me today guys thank you for joining me see you again soon bye